Hey guys, it's Brady Wack, and today we're going to give my first honest thoughts of Black Ops 3, and I want you guys to also participate in this video. I want you guys to leave your comments down below. Uh, as a viewer, as watching videos of Black Ops 3, you might have the game, but as a viewer, how do you like watching Black Ops 3 gameplay? Do you like it? Is it better than Advanced Warfare? Is it better than Ghost? I mean, I mean that's a pretty much yes, because I mean, <laughs> everything's better than Ghost. I'm just kidding. Maybe some of you like Ghost, but uh, anyway, we're not talking about that. Today we're talking about Black Ops 3 and how I overall feel about it. Now, I don't want to go too in depth with this because I don't want to say something that I might really like right now and then six months later it's like why did I say that uh, that's stu that's actually stupid like saying something like oh I really love the vision pulse and then six months later it's like dude vision pulse is so overpowered why did I like that why did I even use it so I'm just gonna give some basic things that I really like about it that I like black uh, like about black ops 3 I'm trying to pick things that they did different from advanced warfare or ghosts or just overall the whole call of duty series but again some this stuff is gonna be similar to Black Ops 2 because I mean it it's Black Ops 3 you think it'd be somewhat similar to the game previous before that so I don't really need to go in depth from that fam alright but overall the game is what advanced warfare should have been overall advanced warfare was just too futuristic too jetpacky black ops 3 they they just made it very like they simmered it down they simmer down with the jetpacks and the futuristic -y. overall you don't really the jetpacks and moving around really doesn't change how the game flows sure people do still fly above you and still shoot at you and whatnot but that doesn't mean that they have an advantage honestly because I've had times where I've been in the sky and I've been shooting at someone and I had the height advantage and they still got me with advanced warfare it's just it was just crazy it was just mayhem here it's it's pretty subtle and it's not all about that the maps aren't made around um, the movement of the game maybe Nuketown but that's just such a that's such a tiny map that's just a, such a tiny map that you can obviously see where you would wall jump and whatnot so the flow of the game is awesome it's what Advanced Warfare should have been and I really do like how it feels again that could change because at the beginning of Advanced Warfare I said that the jetpacks was a cool feature but it just wasn't it wasn't there was no point to it here it's is a step in the right direction again I don't know how it's gonna be in six months uh, but that's just the flow of the game let's actually talk about the guns I'm just gonna go in random order but I'm gonna try to keep it as like as orderly as possible the guns I feel like the guns I haven't picked out the one overpowered gun besides maybe the Razorback because in the Razor the Razorback and the beta was probably the best gun in the game just because of the damage and the fire rate but again uh, things change guns get patched a uh, track are usually really good Good with making their guns with exception of what I wear where the mp40 was overpowered and even in black ops 1 the FAMAS was the FAMAS obviously was the best gun but the commando the AK there was tons of other guns that you can choose from that was really good and in black ops 2 overall the AN94 maybe but there was a lot of guns to choose from that was really good here I'm just looking the KN44 is a good gun uh, the man of war is uh, definitely decent uh, the weavile I don't know why people just hate on the weavile but I really do like it obviously it's not the best submachine gun but I really do like it oh in time people will find that overpowered gun people will find the MP40 the M16 the FAMAS the uh, the ACR of Black Ops 3 but as of right now the guns seem pretty balanced even the secondaries man the pistols the K the RK5 Oh man, oh man, I really do like that. And uh, what's it called? The attachments, just the way that it's formatted, like Black Ops 2, how you unlock it by unlocking other things, like it's in order. Like if you get your gun to level 9, you unlock an attachment, or if you unlock anything else through leveling, you unlock it. That didn't make sense, but I kind of like that. I, I don't know, I thought they were going to bring back COD points when I first heard about Black Ops 3. I don't know if you would have got guys would have liked that. But overall, the system of the guns and unlocking the attachments, I really do like it. It's somewhat challenging, and the better player that really is really determined with a certain gun will unlock more attachments and will rank up that gun faster. So it's not just handed to you on a silver platter or anything like that. So that's something that I really do like. Uh, the specialist. So this is something... I don't want to say it's revolutionary because Destiny had the exact same thing. Let's be honest. I'm not even going to try to shoot a code. It's the exact same thing, but it's pretty good. There's a, there's a different variety. Me, I love the Vision Pulse. For the first month of gameplays, you're only going to see Vision Pulse, but Ruin's pretty good. Uh, Prophet's pretty overpowered with the Temptus. Uh, Battery's not that great, and I'm just looking at the other specialists, you know, so on and so forth. Hijack, that's... 
I don't know how that's gonna work out, that's just a whole different story, but the specialist is something different, and it's not really, like, game-changing or anything like that, and I think that's good. It's something that they added to the game, it's a different flow of the game, and I really do like it, and I don't know how you guys feel about it, but it just does not change the game for how I look at it. The score streaks, so... Advanced Warfare and Ghost, me personally, you guys know how I feel about the score streaks. I felt like they weren't that great, and the score streaks are pretty much... They they take the same boat as in Black Ops 2. They had the same UAV, counter UAV, Hellstorm, Lightning Strike. They had the Hater, which was the black, which is the Blackbird or the Orbital V Sat or so forth. But they added a few different uh, kill streaks. That the Raps is something different. The GI Unit, uh, so on. The Dart also was something different. But again, they still have the same RCXD care package, so the kill streaks they didn't really change a lot. I mean, why fix what's not broken? They only added to it. So the kill streaks, I feel like they're achievable, and I really do like that. I like the point system. I like how if you play the objective, it counts towards your kill streaks rather than if you, rather than if it's just based on kills. You know what I mean? I'm just going based off of, you know, just anything that I see on the main menu. But Let's talk about the maps. So the maps is the only thing I can kind of complain about. The maps look great. Even the forest map, which I don't even know the name of it, they all look great, but they're somewhat kind of big. You know, they're not like ghost big where you had to run across the whole map and it took literally 10 years. Luckily here for Black Ops 2, you have the jetpacks and you can move around so far, uh, way more faster. But... Uh, the maps are somewhat big because I feel like when I go on the other side of the map or even in the middle of the map and I get killed and I get spawned all the way back towards the end, I feel like, oh my god, I gotta run all the way back there. But again, you do have the jetpack and so on and so forth. Uh, but my favorite maps, Aquarium, that's probably one of my favorite maps of all time because one, it's a freaking aquarium. It's like SeaWorld in Black Ops 3. What more can you like about that? And two, it's like a perfect size map. That's what the map should be. The forest map or the treehouse map, that's way too big. That's just, I feel like that's way too big. Metro is a pretty decent sized map, but that one's so, somewhat big. And then uh, Stronghold, I think it's what it's called. The beta map is a pretty good sized map. So those are good maps that one look good and the size are really, really good. So let's talk about the connection because I feel like Black Ops 3, the connection, the hit, the hit detection is just on point i don't know how how your guys is but i have great internet all right so that probably does help too it's on the next gen console so they have a lot to work with and overall just the flow of the game the hit detection everything just seems fair Every, whenever i die i know that it's probably because they were the better player or whatnot and obviously i still have the points like what i sh oh, and then i rage a little bit throw my controller go out to target and buy a new one and i felt like i got cheated out but that's just with every kind of video game you feel like you're the best player of all time playing the game and you feel like you should get moabs for days even though it's impossible to get that in black ops 3 so the, i obviously do have some of those times but overall the flow of the game the hit detection just everything the graphics the way that looks oh it just it's an orgasm in my, in my pants the if you look at the last gen console uh, console version oh man it's just it, it's gross I don't even want to talk about it, bro. So overall, what do I think about Black Ops 3? Obviously, it's the first week of the game, so I'm going to say I love it. Because it's the honeymoon stage, you love everything at first. That's what I thought about Advanced Warfare. When it first came out, I thought, oh my god, this is going to be my second favorite Call of Duty of all time. It's going to be awesome, I'm going to love it, I'm going to play it. And then six months later, it's like, eh, it's, eh, eh. eh. And you tried Advanced Warfare, you tried, but I strongly feel that this is going to be a somewhat different Call of Duty because they didn't change it completely like how Advanced Warfare was. They kept it subtle, they added a few things, but they kept it like Black Ops 2. And Black Ops 2, I, th I feel like was the most successful Call of Duties in the last three years of Call of Duties. I don't think Ghost did a great job compared to Black Ops 2, and Advanced Warfare I don't think did a good job as Black Ops 2. And Treyarch, I love Treyarch games. I love Black Ops 1, that's my favorite Call of Duty of all time. Black Ops 2 was just a phenomenal game, well balanced in my personal opinion. I know some people don't like it. And then Mortal at War was, you know, their like first like actual Call of Duty on the next, on the last next gen consoles for the 360 and PS3. So this is a good start. I'm liking it. They have. They added a few things that didn't change the game, like the black market or the specialist, and they kept things that were really good in the score streaks and gun categories. The maps, they can kind of improve on that, but that's what DLC is for. I'm excited to see what comes with that. I didn't talk about zombies because I feel like I can talk about zombies for Zombie Day Wednesday, which is coming soon. 
I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching my first impressions. Overall, I'm giving Black Ops 3 an A. An A right now. It could change later on, but Black Ops 3 is a solid A. I really do like it. There hasn't been a time where I felt bored. I'm looking at the screen right now, and I just want to play it while making this commentary. But I love you guys. i see you guys later. Enjoy the rest of your day, and bye.